noteworthy update. As of this month, $4,873 in additional payments will start arriving in bank accounts around the nation, providing a significant financial boost to recipients of Social Security and SSDI. Millions of Americans depend on Social Security and disability payments, and this huge increase in monthly benefits is going to provide them a huge boost. Salutations to us. You have returned to Stimulus Updates, the channel where you can find the most recent information regarding stimulus programs. I'm Ali, and I'm here today to tell you about some great news. You read it correctly, that is correct. Social Security and Supplemental Security Income SSDI beneficiaries around the country are getting new benefits, with the maximum amount reaching $4,873. For many, this is a major turning point, and we will explain in detail how it will impact you. However, before we begin, please, if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the like button. Not only does it help the channel, but it also makes sure you don't miss a word about your benefits. Okay, now we can dive into the story's meat. These large payments are the consequence of a recently announced change to benefits by the Social Security Administration. However, why has there been such a dramatic uptick? Economic variables and legislative changes have all converged at once, creating a perfect storm. Let us begin by discussing inflation. Everyone is aware that living expenses have been increasing dramatically recently. The cost of living is rising across the board, including groceries, gas, and housing. Social Security beneficiaries, particularly those living on fixed incomes, are feeling the pinch, and the government has taken. Notice. As a result, they've instituted a COLA cost adjustment that's far greater than anything we've seen in decades. This rise isn't like the ones you see every year. To help beneficiaries keep up with the increasing expenditures, we're talking about a mid-year bump. Yet there's more. Those stimulus payments during the pandemic's height are still fresh in your mind. The government has finally admitted that a lot of people who were supposed to get Social Security and SSDI payments weren't. For stimulus monies that were either underpaid or overlooked, this revised payment serves as a retroactive fix. Let's dissect the process that led to this $4,873. Total, the COLA increases in an emergency. This is equivalent to approximately $2,500 of the total amount. About $1,400 for stimulus revisions that are retroactive. Extra funding for growing healthcare expenses is around $973. Be advised that not all recipients will be granted the entire $4,873. How much you get depends on a number of factors, including your present benefit level, the accuracy with which you receive prior stimulus payments, and your unique situation. However, even at the lowest end, your benefits will be significantly increased. Since I anticipate that you will have inquiries, I will do my best to respond to the most often asked ones in the comments section. How long till I get my money? The Social Security Administration is distributing them in batches. They anticipate finishing all payments within the next three or four weeks, and the first tranche was deposited into accounts yesterday. Can you tell me what I need to do to receive this money? No, for the most part. The payment ought to be automated if you are currently receiving Social Security or SSDI benefits. Still, get in touch with the Social Security Administration right away if you have switched banks or haven't gotten your regularly scheduled benefits. Will this be an ongoing payment or a one? Time boost? Well, it's kind of both. Although the retroactive modifications are one time, your continuing monthly payments will reflect the cost of living adjustment. For programs like Medicare and Medicaid, will this have any consequences? A. It is a valid question. This payout will not be considered income for these programs, according to the Social Security Administration. Nevertheless, it is highly recommended that you verify with the programs directly whether you are receiving other types of help. We can now move on to discussing the more general effects of this change. This isn't merely a one-time windfall for your finances. It signifies a substantial change in the way the government handles Social Security and SSDI compensation. Your opponents have maintained for a long time that disabled and elderly Americans' true cost of living has been outpacing the conventional cost of living hikes. That fact is recognized by this immediate change. There has been a noticeable uptick in activity on Capitol Hill as well. A number of legislators have put forward proposals to change the Koalas calculation and guarantee that Social Security would be financially stable for generations to come. Changing to a CPIEE consumer price index for the elderly would be one adjustment that would be more in line with how seniors actually spend their money, particularly on health care. Future callers may be more accurate and generous if the CPIEE continues to climb at a higher rate than the conventional CPI. However, there are some bumps in the road. The sustainability of these higher payments in the long run is a concern for some fiscal conservatives. 
They worry that these emergency measures may further strain the Social Security Trust Fund, which is already struggling. With everything out of the way, how will Social Security and SSDI play out in the years to come? Remember these important points. More intense examination. The calculation and distribution of benefits will likely receive additional scrutiny. Future modifications may be more frequent as a result of this. Dispute terrain in politics. In the next elections, Social Security will most certainly play a significant role. Listen carefully to the contender's stances on this important program. Possible changes. There may be suggestions for systemic adjustments that are more extensive. Changes like a higher retirement age or a different maximum taxable income for Social Security payments. Pay close attention to solvency. The long-term solvency of the Social Security Trust Fund will be a refocused effort. I get that there's a lot to process, and I also get that you can be experiencing a range of emotions related to your future finances from enthusiasm too. It's concern. That's the way it usually is. This is a significant shift, coupled with the fact that they are arriving when a great deal of us are already coping with economic uncertainty. Let me start by offering some suggestions. Do not rely any major life changes in your financial situation on this news. You need to keep the big picture in mind, even though it's a huge boost. To further understand how to put this boost to work for you, it could be helpful to consult a financial expert. Also, keep yourself updated. Keeping abreast with the ever-changing Social Security and SSDI situation is of the utmost importance. If you have any queries regarding your Social Security benefits, feel free to contact your local office or subscribe to this channel for frequent updates. Last but not least, speak up. Share your opinions on current changes and future priorities with your congressional representatives by contacting them. You have a voice in the management of your own money through Social Security, which is more than just a government program. Stay informed about Social Security and SSDI by like, subscribing, and activating notifications. In the next one, I'll see you, and I appreciate you watching this one.